Now, come and get me! This time I'll bury you! All right, Koga, let's dance. How's it going, everybody? My name is Al, and welcome to the Nerd Room. Today we're playing some Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Let's get into it. Okay, so as far as I can tell, the only entrance to the depths in this region is this entrance over here, so... Fingers crossed that that's the right one. We should know pretty quickly if this is the right one. There isn't a dragon coming out of this one, is there? No, we're all clear. All right. So yeah, we should know pretty quickly if this is the if this is the right one. If we get down there and don't see any uh, any statues, we know we found the wrong entrance. Oh, oh, wait! I think I see a statue. Ah, 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 there we go. We got it. All right, Koga, we're coming for you for our final showdown. I used up all the bright bloom seeds I brought with me. If you have any extra, would you mind sharing? Uh, sure. Ah, thank you. Whew, you really saved me. It's so dark around here, I can't see a thing without a little glow. So don't waste your bright bloom seeds like I did. Oh, and putting a seed on the ground to hit is all right. But expert explorers attach them to arrows and fire them. Do that, and look! I can see your face in the dark, clear as day. Oh. A face of our sworn enemy Link, that is. Dagnabbit, yep, for a, se for a second the way this one was talking, I thought they might have been an actual researcher, but nope. There ye go, clan. I'll have your life. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Two little pokes. <laughs> All right. I'll have your life goes down immediately. <laughs> I guess I am wielding a really powerful weapon right now, and I think I mentioned this already, but I'm fairly certain I was supposed to do this quest line a lot earlier than I did. Because, like, yeah, this... Like, the whole... Uh, statues thing started when I talked to, uh, talked to, I know how to speak it. <laughs> uh, the whole statues thing started when I talked to, um, uh, Joshua, like, um, Pura's research assistant. Uh, I went on a quest with Robbie real quick, which, um, then started me, um, getting upgrades to the Pura pad, and then I followed the first statues that she mentioned, which first led me to getting auto build and whatnot. And yeah, given how quickly these Yiga clan guys go down, yeah, that was... I'm doing this very late in the game. There we go, look at this beast. <laughs> you know what? You know what this actually reminds me of? Um, I'm not sure how many of you guys had these, but I had this one uh, car when I was a kid. It was like, um, it was like a double-sided car, essentially. Like, if it... Uh, I don't think I had, like, a remote-controlled version. I had one that you, like, pulled back and let go. Uh, and if it hit a wall, it would, like, drive up it, flip around, and then start driving the other way. I forget what they were called, but... Yeah, this looks exactly like one of those cars. <laughs> Perfect. Alright. Let's motor. Ooh, that looks like a big thing in our way. Is that... What is that, a Hinox? Oh, yeah, that's a Hinox. <laughs> well... You know, it, the statue's over there, so I think we can just live and let live on this one. You enjoy your nap over there, buddy. Oh boy, oh boy, it's getting a little bumpy. Ah, frick! Oh boy. Okay, there we go, it corrected itself. <laughs> yeah, there we go, yep, yeah, keep her steady, keep her steady. Oh boy, yep, yeah, smooth as silk this ride. Uh-oh. Heck's going on, wait. That statue is staring straight down. What? Hold on a minute, what the heck's going on here? Oh, okay, I guess this guy knows. That's strange. There definitely should be something up ahead. What's the matter? Oh, are you investigating this place too? Look, see how this stone statue has fallen into the wall? These statues are typically set in rows with one sight line leading to the next until they finally stop at an old mine. But this is different. This chain of statues ends here. I've looked all over, but there's no sign of an old mine. Could it somehow be inside this wall? But I don't see any kind of entrance. <laughs> oh well. I found you here, so at least the statues led me to a hero. <clears throat> Your life is mine! Oh no, how shocking. Alright. 
Let's see what you got, buddy. I'm using a slightly... I'm using a slightly weaker weapon than my spear just to give you a, a ghost of a chance, which apparently did not freaking matter. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, we've dealt with the the Yiga clan guy, but that still doesn't help us here. Am I able to drill into the wall or something? So where I am right now, I'm basically directly under Rito Village. So I was gonna say that maybe there's an entrance to the depths, like, on the surface again that I can use and, like, jump down straight to the mine, but I don't think that's it because Rito Village is surrounded by a lake. I'm definitely not climbing my way up there because that is a sheer cliff face that goes into an overhang, so that's not happening. I'll do a quick uh, I'll do a quick survey of this, I assume, giant pillar. Let me just let me actually quickly before I do that mark this location just so I know uh, how to get back to this spot if need be. Oh jeez, bomb plants! Oh ho ho ho! You ain't sneaking up on me this time, you little pricks. I think my only solution, if I don't find anything by circling around what I assume is a big pillar, I think my only solution then would be to head up to Rito Village and look around there. Cause yeah, I can't I can't dive underwater as Link, so there wouldn't be like an entrance like in the lake around the village, but and maybe I'll find something in the village itself for the surrounding area. Because, yeah, so far it's looking like I'm not going to be finding the solution down here. Okay, well, there's an armory over here. Oh, and a light route. Okay, perfect. Here we go! Whoa, boy! Oh, jeez! Wow, boy! Okay! Wow! <laughs> Jeez Louise. Every time you strap a rocket to something, <laughs> something interesting always happens. <laughs> okay, now let's get this light route and see if it, uh, see if it um, gives us any more information on how we might get to that mine. Huh. Yeah, that, uh, that didn't give us a whole lot, did it? Oh, that didn't even give us any information about the friggin' mine over here. That gave us freaking diddly squat. Okay, so what could the solution possibly be? Oh, hello. Random treasure chest, I'll take it. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'll definitely take it. Okay, so right now we are basically directly above where the mine is supposed to be. Is there, like, a cave entrance along, like, the sides of one of these things or something? Hold on, maybe one of the- maybe I'll ask around Rito Village. Maybe, uh, maybe someone here knows about some kind of entrance to the depths that I'm not seeing. I was proud to bequeath my great eagle bow to my fully-fledged son, of course. But it does leave me without the bow I've used for so long. Hmm. An elder shouldn't go unarmed, so I'll be crafting myself another one as soon as I can. The bow I gave Tulin was a masterpiece. After so many years of use, it was like another limb for me. <laughs> but I think I have it in me to craft one just as good. If you want your own Great Eagle bow, I wouldn't mind crafting one for you too while I'm at it. I'll need a swallow bow, five bundles of wood, and three diamonds. <laughs> Those materials might not be easy to come by, but if you can collect them all, then the bow is yours. Okay, Th thank you, Tiba. I'll keep that in mind. Hi, Link! Here to see how the village is doing? So, Princess Zelda's been in the past all along, and she's been fighting the whole time. All we can do for her now is gather as much information as we can about the Fifth Sage. Uh, well, I've already got plenty of information on that. <laughs> I'll do what I can to look into any ruins from the Age of Legends. Okay, the Link is probably telling them that- Yep, there we go. What? You found the Fifth Sage? So, she's an ancient Zonai, but there's just the spirit left? I can't wrap my mind around it, but it sounds like we can count on her. Good job finding her, Link. Mm. It's finally time to take on the Demon King. I need to brace myself for a real fight, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, one other thing. Something else came up that I wanted to ask you about. Harth asked me to help him sort through some ancient literature. You'll never believe what I found written in one of his books. Shernita, Goflams, and Sherfins. Hidden treasure sleeps in the center of the three secret hot springs in the mountains. 
Guide the three waters to that place. When it fills, the slumbering treasure will awaken once more. There's got to be something good waiting for whoever solves the riddle, right? Secret hot springs, huh? I've been to Sternita Hot Springs a few times. It's northwest of Rito Village. <laughs> it's the best. A quick soak is enough to heal your wounds in the blink of an eye. It keeps you from freezing, too. But I don't know about the others. The Hebra Mountains are a big place. I'm not sure we could cover all of them. But that slumbering treasure is pretty tempting. If only we could find it. Okay, maybe I'll follow this quest line and uh, see if that maybe leads us to, uh, to, um, uh, Koga. Okay, so I was searching around for a while, um, and I do mean a while. Uh, I was just trying to figure out freaking Tulin's riddle for like an hour. I finally broke and decided to look up how to get down to Master Koga, and turns out Tulin's riddle has absolutely nothing to do with that. Instead, I was supposed to find just this random guy here and talk to them, so let's do this. <laughs> well, well, if it isn't Link. I haven't seen you since we first met at the Hyrule Field Chasm. Joshua asked me to search the area around Rito Village for a chasm. Ah. And lo and behold, I found one. See? It's directly below us. I plan to return and report my findings to Joshua after I rest a short while longer. If you plan on entering the chasm, I urge you to do so with caution. Uh, yeah, I'm charging right in there, Ponic, so, uh, yeah, thank you for tracking this down for me. Oh my goodness. <laughs> there we go, the abandoned Hebra Mines. My goodness, that took forever. <laughs> At least from my perspective. For you guys, that was all of, like, two minutes, if that. There we go, yeah, yeah, if I circled around that whole pillar, I would have not found a squat. <laughs> Why is this particular mine completely encased in stone? <laughs> it's like a mine, you'd think there'd be, like, tunnels leading through it. The whole point of a mine is to tunnel through stone to find materials. <laughs> eh, whatever, <laughs> whatever, that's all in the past now. Now we can go say hi to Koga. Oh, okay. Koga's not, like, trying to activate anything now. He's just, like, meditating and waiting for me. <laughs> I've been waiting for you. It is done. We have enough crystallized charges at last. And now, our gift to the Demon King! A weapon beyond compare! <laughs> Will be reborn! <laughs> Today will go down in infamy! As the day of our ultimate weapon's resurrection! The day the world faced its end! Behold this feat of engineering! Okay, what kind of device is he busting out now? Oh no, he's got a mech! This unstoppable Zonai construct! Count your blessings, Link! Your death will prove the Yiga Clan's might! Then I'll go take my rightful place! In the darkness below the castle, where the Demon King now dwells. Yes, where the end of all things will begin. In the deepest reaches of the depths, far beneath Hyrule Castle. Okay, well, it's a good thing I got my own construct. Now, come and get me. This time, I'll bury you. All right, Koga, let's dance. Okay, here we go. Same way that I fought the last one. <laughs> Just knock him, knock him into the sides and then smack him a little bit. There we go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Koga just can't catch a break, can he? <laughs> 
I can only assume that when, you know, we get him down to like two-thirds of his health, he'll actually put weapons on this thing. <laughs> For now, though, this fight's uh, kind of easy. <laughs> Oh, okay, there we go. He got a barrier around himself. I guess if I'm I guess if I do this fight without my Whoa! 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 Okay, abandoned Frick! Okay, wow! <laughs> that escalated very quickly. What the frick was that? <laughs> I'm trying to think how you would do this fight, like, without, uh, without Minoru. I'm guessing, I guess since he puts, like, a barrier owl around himself, you're supposed to, like, maybe, um, like, uh, shoot an arrow at him? Oh, is that it? You don't have the lasers again? Alright, cool. Just had to do that once, I guess. Oh! Oh, jeez. Keep the barrier up. Okay, we're good. Hey, stop jumping around like that, you prick. Get over there! <laughs> Perfect! And we're good. Ow! Okay, never mind. I think Link got clipped there, but whatever. One more, uh, one more set of attacks, and I think victory... Yep, victory is ours. <laughs> Arg! My beautiful weapon! All my work destroyed! You little twerp! I was this close to destroying the world with the Demon King! You think I'm just gonna let this stand? Do you? <laughs> Time to bust out my serious moves! A brand new technique I came up with in the deepest darkness of the darkest depths. It will destroy you. Me. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. <laughs> Tremble in fear. I didn't get to see what he called it. This is the end. Now fly, Koga Rock. Oh jeez! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! This this wasn't supposed to happen! <laughs> How dare you, Link! I'll okay. I didn't catch that. Oh jeez! He's going back up. <laughs> oh no! He blasted off again. <laughs> There we go, Master Koga of the Yiga Clan. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you liked that video, feel free to hit that like button down below and to share your thoughts in the comments. And if you want to stay up to date on future videos, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Until next time, you all have yourselves a good day. See ya!